In every Punch-Out game, there is a fighter that is placed there with the specific intent of being a punching bag. For most of the games, it has been Glass Joe, a famously weak and timid fighter. But for Super Punch-Out, they chose to make a new fighter, the protege of Glass Joe, Gabby J. Which of these two is more pathetic? Well, today, that's what we're going to find out. Gabby J and Glass Joe have a few things in common. They both have a hilariously bad record of 1 to 99. They both have a special move that can be countered for an instant knockdown. They are both way too old to be fighting, especially Gabby J, who is in his 50s. They are both from France, and they both only use jabs and hooks in their fighting style. That's about it. To properly contrast them, we need to look at their differences. While Gabby J and Glass Joe have similar fighting styles, the way in which they present themselves are very, very different. Glass Joe never fights for the first 40 seconds of the fight. He just stands there, cowering and taking every single punch you throw at him. Gabby J, on the other hand, will actually throw punches. Very slow, very weak punches, but punches nevertheless. Gabby J is far less afraid of the opponent than Glass Joe, going out of his way to taunt the player during his special move. Speaking of special moves, Gabby J's special move is far, far more powerful than Glass Joe's. Despite Joe facing a smaller and weaker opponent, his hooks deal minimal damage even during the special move. Gabby J's special move drains your health. It is almost as powerful as Nick Bruiser's super hooks. Gabby J's jaw is also a lot stronger than Glass Joe's. It is far easier to one hit knock down Glass Joe with a star punch than Gabby J. The biggest argument in Gabby J's favor is that he actually beat Glass Joe in a professional match. As the final test of Glass Joe's boxing school, you have to face against Glass Joe himself. Gabby J fought and beat Glass Joe in that match. But Glass Joe has a few things in his favor as well. Glass Joe's one win was against Nick Bruiser. Somehow, Glass Joe was able to defeat Nick Bruiser. My theory on how he did this was but by, by some miracle countering Nick Bruiser's jump attack and knocking him out. Side note, this likely occurred after the events of Super Punch-Out, meaning that Gabby J won his first fight before Glass Joe did. There is also an argument to be made that Gabby J can be rendered dizzy in seconds, and Glass Joe cannot. In my opinion, this point is moot, because the fighter in Super Punch-Out is way stronger than Little Mac, and you cannot star punch Glass Joe until at least 40 seconds into the match in Mike Tyson's punch out. Glass Joe can also be straight knocked out in only one regular punch, whereas it takes at least 8 punches to knock out Gabby J. And you have to super punch him multiple times to do so. So, who is the stronger of the two? Well, looking at general stats, the fighting styles, and the overall metal of the fighters, I think the stronger of the two is Gabby J. He is braver, stronger, and can take more of a beating than Glass Joe. Even though Glass Joe beat Nick Bruiser, he is still weaker, mainly because of his lack of bravery and passion, and his extreme cowardice as well. His win was likely a fluke. Well, thanks for watching. I made a lot of mistakes while recording, and I worked really hard on this video. So, if you really like this channel, please help support it in any way you can, subscribing or whatever. 
you don't have to, but it would be nice. I'm trying to get monetized. Anyways, thanks for watching.